Next at 6, with a hot weekend ahead, the Department of Transportation is asking drivers to take extra caution on the roadways. Valina Jones is live on the Beltline and explains why now is the most common time of the year to encounter buckled pavement. Good evening, Valina. Well, hi, Charlotte. While it's difficult to pinpoint when and where you'll encounter buckled pavement, one thing's for sure, when we have hotter temperatures like we're going to see this weekend, you're bound to see more uneven pavement. It's a sure sign of summer with the sun shining and people driving with the windows down. While many take these next few months to vacation or take a road trip, the Department of Transportation warns drivers cruising down the road could take a bumpy turn with roads buckling on hot days. When you see a sudden increase in heat, you're gonna see a sudden increase in buckling because it's that cycling of temperature. So we stayed really cool and now we're getting really hot. So that quick pavement change tends to lead to a little more buckling. Temperatures are expected to reach the high 80s to low 90s this weekend, which means drivers could be in for a rocky ride. And you see it more and more every summer. The DOT recorded 16 reports of buckling throughout the state this year. Ten of those happened just last weekend. They could send you into the ditch real easy. Well, it's going to ruin your truck. Besides that, you could get thrown into an accident real easy. I do the best I can, and I might, if I see something, just kind of swerve a little you know, safely mm -hmm. if I can to avoid things. Barry Pay, chief materials engineer at the DOT, says researchers are working on ways to create a smoother ride by testing different materials. So you don't think of concrete like a sponge, but concrete does like to absorb water. So as it absorbs moisture, it expands. So what can we do to try and minimize that effect? For now, drivers say they're just holding on for the ride. The roads are pretty bad here, but it's kind of keep driving. Now, Charlotte, there is some good news in all of this. It only takes about a couple of hours for crews to repair the roadways, but DOT stresses that this means that drivers need to be cautious and give them room and time to get that done. Valina Jones reporting live for us tonight. Valina, thank you.